Good morning and welcome to GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. Uh, we're coming into the home stretch, you might say, of this Lenten season. We have exactly two weeks to go now until Easter Sunday. So um, it's the time to recommit ourselves to some extra prayer and especially meditating on on the passion of Christ, uh, his suffering, his, his incredible self-sacrificial love which uh, saved us all from our sins, his death on the cross, his amazing, merciful forgiveness of all of our sins through his painful and emotionally draining death, crucifixion and death, and his glorious resurrection. So today I'd like to do a video on a woman who, who was the daughter of uh, the patron of Sweden, uh, who was St. Bridget of Sweden is, is one of the co-patrons of Europe. And one of her daughters, named Catherine, also became a great saint, uh, following in, in her mother's footsteps and even taking over the reins of, of the early Brigitine order, which uh, she helped to get established. So I'll do a video on her. Her feast day is the 24th of March, which will be coming up in a few days. And um, I'll begin with a very familiar Catholic uh, hymn, Here I Am. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will call, Lord. If you St. Catherine of Sweden. Uh, she was born in 1331 and she died on the 24th of March, 50 years later, in the year, 50, in the year 1381. She's the, patron of, she's the patron of unborn children and of the prevention of miscarriage. Catherine of Sweden was the fourth of eight children of St. Bridget. When Catherine was about 13 or 14 years old, her father arranged for her to be married. Catherine, a very devout young woman, recognized a similar devotion in her husband, and she convinced him that they should live a life of celibacy. So together they devoted themselves to works of charity and to prayer. Catherine accompanied her mother to Rome on several other pilgrimages. Undoubtedly, Catherine's spirituality was influenced by her mother's mystical experiences, focusing on the passion and the death of Christ. During one of their trips, Catherine received word that her husband had died, and since her father had died several years earlier, Catherine joined her mother in her, in her newly founded order of the Most Holy Savior until St. Bridget's death in 1373. During a period of painful schism in the church, Catherine remained faithful to the Pope and testified before a juridical commission in support of him. After her mother's death, Catherine worked tirelessly to get the necessary permissions from the Holy See for her mother's religious congregation, now known as the Brigittines. She then returned to Sweden and became the abbess of the convent in Vadstena. Reflection. Catherine of Sweden found creative and generous ways of serving the Lord far beyond what was expected of her. Sometimes it can be easy for us to do the minimum in any situation, whether it be spiritual, work-related, or in our relationships. 
What are some concrete ways that I can become more generous today? Prayer. St. Catherine of Sweden, intercede for us so that we may come so that we may come to embrace a greater love for Christ crucified and be inspired to greater generosity. Amen. We say a decade of the rosary now for 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 all the sick, all those who are suffering physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually in our world today. It's a very uh the weather's turning nicer. Uh, Dublin has been, the weather here in Ireland has been very, very uh, pleasant over the last week. And that, that, that makes, makes it much easier to smile, of course, when the sun is shining and the, and the temperatures are warm. But um, there's still many people suffering from the emotional effects of, of these lockdowns, which are still in effect in many parts of the world today. So may God give us the grace to, to persevere through, through these trials that we're facing at this time in the world and help us to really ex, to draw closer to Jesus Christ in, in, during his, his painful uh, passion and, uh, and journey to Calvary so that we may rise with him in a new way, in a deeper way on Easter Sunday. We'll pray, today we'll meditate on the Today we'll meditate on, on one of the, the, the glorious mysteries, the uh, coronation of our Blessed Mother, as it's a Saturday. We'll focus on our Blessed Lady and uh, her queenship, the coronation of Mary. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to Thee, Our Lady, Our Lady, ha, Queen, Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Pray for us, Saint Bridget of Sweden and Saint Catherine of Sweden. Pray for us, Saint Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and all the holy angels of God. Pray for us. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make a 
us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine to the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. For hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church. Thank you for watching GFC Visions Growing in Friendship with Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.